Hi, my name is Robert Kelly. Uh, I go to CrossFit Polymath. Uh, the little one you hear in the background is uh, Emma. Uh, my wife and I just got finished with the uh, Wrong Healthy Living Challenge. So I'm doing my video reflection uh, at the end. Uh, trying to look back at advice we give others. Uh, <laughs> one second. The <clears throat> Say hi, Emma. Hi. <laughs> uh, so looking back, we approached the first week really wrong. Uh, we spent like $350 on groceries because we went strictly by the list and bought a bunch of the kitchen staples. Uh, it was really expensive. And then we wound up not liking uh, a lot of the recipes uh, that were in the elite meal plan that we were going by. Um, but the later weeks, when we were able to sit down, we pushed out. Oh, sorry for the interruption. Uh, making the stuffed pepper soup recipe from week one again for tonight's meal. Um, so as I was saying, for weeks two through five, we did a lot more meal planning. Uh, I would put down a sheet. We go through. Uh, the weekly meal plans and pick out what we wanted um, and then the recipe books we went through those print off a bunch of the recipes and we kind of look through the book and see what we wanted and uh, repeat recipes and then when we did that uh, simplified a bunch of breakfasts fit our time schedule um, we were able to spend a lot less money got it down between uh, 100 150 each week um, so things that helped us uh, definitely uh, switched to a lot of Zevia so it has a natural sweetener in it, so it's my natural sweetener for the day. Uh, but help curve my <laughs> um, like soda and energy drink habit a lot. Started drinking a lot more coffee instead of energy drinks. Um, yes, and there's, there's Daddy's hat. Uh, so started doing that. And then um, Laura bars, so we found some of those. Some RX bars. You want to put the hat on? Um, and other things. Uh, and a lot of almond butter. A lot of almond butter and apples were a lot of the snack stuff that helped us get through it. Um, one of our favorite recipes was definitely the rosemary honey mustard chicken wings. Uh, those were delicious. We've eaten those about every week for the last three weeks. Uh, so a good recipe. Uh, it's been a good experience. A lot challenging. We have had a lot of life changes uh, during this challenge too, some scheduling, some my wife going back to school, um, thanks, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I had to adapt, uh, meal prepping isn't easy, especially if you're trying to be uh, more fancy with some of the recipes, so we had to try and carve out time to do that, and dealing with her and schedules and, and everything. Uh, so that was an adjustment. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so trying to do those adjustments, uh, trying to fit it in, trying to figure out what we wanted, uh, waking up in time to make breakfast, trying to prep, do those, what to do if we forgot something, what to do for recipes that were only for the night. So that was a lot of adjustment to do. Uh, I think overall we've... Uh, definitely made some improvements. You know, we lost a little weight. Um, our measurements look a lot better. Um, but with our gym's programming, along with getting our nutrition in line, uh, our performance has been able uh, to skyrocket. I was able to add 15 pounds uh, to my snatch within like the first two weeks that we were doing the, uh, the challenge. So it was that drastic of a difference. Uh, and then one of the more impressive things, I think, was that uh, today's Monday. So Saturday, my wife and I did the uh, Tough Love competition uh, in Springfield, Missouri, uh, which is her first competition, um, my, like, third. She's only been doing CrossFit for about three, four months since November, um, and I've been doing it since last May. Uh, so it's definitely you know, tough for us. <laughs> really uh really good experience but obviously we were competing um putting our all in effort and then today we did the super eight test um and i was actually able to do um more reps than i did on the original super eight 
uh, by about 12 reps. Uh, so I had a considerable amount, even though um, I was definitely worn out, tired, and sore from the competition on Saturday. Uh, so I think it's just a testament uh, both to the fantastic programming from uh, CrossFit Polymath and our head coach, Dane, and uh, getting nutrition in line. So uh, the challenge is definitely a great way to get into that and get started and provides a ton of resources uh, and metrics to measure yourself with. Um, so it is definitely been an experience and one that I would recommend to other people, um, especially those who need uh, to get their fitness in line. It's a great introduction. It's really nice that all those options are there. You can be elite. You can be pro. Uh, you can compete in it. Uh, my big goal. Uh, so my biggest goal has been um, kind of competing with one of our coaches at the gym. Uh, she and I have been really close in points. Uh, so that's kind of driven me to stick with my uh, my elite meals and try and do good and uh, even go so far as submit this video application. Uh, so I just want to thank the team at Lorong uh, for putting this all together. Uh, a uh, nationwide scale for um, any challenge is difficult, especially when the last five weeks, a ton of people um, been following the Facebook group and doing a great job of addressing everyone's problems um, and getting those fixed. So there's fantastic operation uh, for the entire thing. Uh, I think my only complaint was just some of the workouts had some odd weight schemes uh, compared to uh, some CrossFit norms. So might just look at that. The uh, a huge difference in what men and women are both lifting um, and just odd rep schemes. So that would be my only thing, just kind of put those more in line with uh, traditional CrossFit RX scaling. So... All right, thank you, and goodbye. Say bye.